Hi everyone, how are you all doing? I hope you're doing really well. Today I have been over to Rugby. Uh, Matthew has an appointment over there. So we were going to pop in home since, but because there's like a shopping park over there. But Matthew wasn't feeling great. So yeah, he just wants to, wants to come back. And um, we are decorating at the moment. So we might be doing a bit more painting later. But that is a separate vlog. And that will be coming um, once we've finished the decorating. And um, yeah, we'll do the whole reveal as well. But let me just get rid of this chewing gum. There's nothing worse than chewing chewing gum on a vlog. Right, so I've been to, while we were over there, B&M and I went into Marks and Spencer's food hall as well and got us some dinner. So, I've got us a nice dinner. It wasn't cheap. So, it wasn't um, cheap, the stuff that I got from Marks and Spencer, but I fancy doing a nice dinner for us and something that you know, doesn't take too long because if we're going to be decorating, um, I can't be down here cooking a Sunday roast. So I'll show you the stuff I got from Marks and Spencer's first and then I'll show you the stuff I got from B&M. Marks and Spencer's. So, in here, I've got my lunch as well because we're going to have our dinner later. Matthew's had a sandwich as well. So I got a prawn mayonnaise sandwich, one of my favourite ones, especially from Marks and Spencer's. And I got a donut. I think this is just a um, this is a plain Jane yum nut. So just a glazed donut. Matthew had a ploughman's and a couple of little Portuguese. Portuguese, Lady of the Nights. Portuguese tarts, he calls them Lady of the Nights. Um, he's got some snacks, he's picked up the ready salted potato sticks. For our pudding, we've got a raspberry jelly trifle. There was one in there called the world, was it called the world's best trifle, Matty? Like yeah, and it was seven pounds. And I weren't going to pay £7. This was £4. It's a very weighty one. It's got a lot of fruit in it. Which I do like when they've got a lot of fruit in. I'll tell you how much um, everything is as well. So, poor mayo sandwich was £3. The donut was pound thirty. Portuguese tart were one pound twenty each and the sandwich plowman's that was three pounds oh and these what were they oh they were one twenty um i've got some tender stem broccoli and fine runner be fine beans and runner beans so that's like three different types of vegetables and there you can microwave steam or boil so i've just got those they were 225 for tomorrow's dinner i've got some lincolnshire pork sausages it's a 75 percent pork these were two pound 60. i've got a bottle of water that was 90p Tomorrow's dinner as well, I've got this to go with the sausages and we're going to have jacket potato. This is a deli style coleslaw. Uh, looks yummy. You can see like the, like the cabbage and stuff in there. Looks delish. So that was £2.50. Like I said, it's not cheap. Um, this is for dinner today. This is a ready to roast boneless sage and onion pork loin joint. With a pork gravy and stuffing balls. Oh, there's gravy in it. I thought gravy as well, but oh well. Um, so that's what it looks like. It's got like the stuffing balls in it. Looks delish. This was £10, so that was a bit steep, but we don't have this very often. 
and I said to Matthew we could have gone out for something to eat but it's not feeling too good so I thought we'd just do a nice dinner instead um, I've got some buttery mashed potato with cream and black pepper I'm being lazy with the mash this was £3 but there's quite a lot in there because I didn't realise it had gravy in there I went for this beef gravy um which we can have with another meal what's the date on it i mean it's the 20th of may is on there so if we don't have it today we can have that another day that was 275 that was but it looks delicious so that's it for our marks and spencers everything called 39 pound 70 um yeah but it's a treat. So let me just get this away and then I'll be back with the B&M haul. Well, I've got two bags from B&M. I didn't actually take any bags with me because I didn't know whether we were definitely going to the shops. Um, I asked B&M if they had any bags and she said we've, we've completely run out. So they only had the, like the, the reusable ones, the big thick ones. So and they had loads of Disney. I said, have you got anything apart from disney i just feel a bit weird like carrying on a disney bag so yeah she found some b and m ones so back one so i went in there for um laundry detergent softener scent boosters because i've run out of all of them <laughs> Baby. Do you know why there's no pregnant Barbie? Why? Because Ken came in a different box. Beautiful. Uh, um, right, first thing on the bar. Oh, show yeah. that first, please. I've been craving these. You just nicked something out the bag, the other bag. Crunchy duck cornflakes. Now, I know that when I went to Aldi last week, I bought the Aldi version and Crunchy Nuts and it was meant to do a taste test but I had a bit of a crappy week and I didn't get to record him and he munched them all so I've got him in another box as you see he's taking the whole bloody box in with him it's only the little one though but anywho let's move on from that they were £2 um, I absolutely love pepperamis they've actually just come apart so you get five pepperamis there um got some toffee crisps they're, they're the little tiny tiny biscuit bar ones seven and a pack i've seen these i used to love these as a kid the um pink wafers these are the pink panther ones i think they were 125 they were 125 they were I think they were two fifty. I'll get the receipt in a minute. Okay. I've got these cute little bottles. They didn't have any Coke Zero in there. Have you just bitten the inside of your mouth? No. I thought I, thought I heard him groan. Um, yeah, they didn't have any Coke Zero, so I've got these just normal Coca Cola. But how cute those little bottles! So you get eight bottles there. These weren't cheap. These were four quid, but treat. I got myself some Yorkshire tea bags because I've run out of the ones from Aldi which are very similar to these and we're back on the PG tips again which are just like the backups and they're, they're foul, they are foul. So Yorkshire tea, I've got some Flash all purpose cleaner, this is the pink tulips and white jasmine country garden edition. Um, this is the recommended by Mrs. Hinch. It's a massive bottle, 1.5 litres. I love using this to put in my spray bottles for the side um, and to put in the mop bucket to mop the floor. Um, air freshener, I got a Febreze Air Mist, a Crocus and um, Bluebell one. Now it says limited edition, but I bought this when we were in Scotland and that was two years ago so yeah um and i've got some lenore incense 
boosters this is the big 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 one the mega pack 570 grams you get in here and this was down to 6.99 i wish i picked up two of these the reason why i didn't get two is because i had a basket and it was full so i had stuff in my hands as well and had stuff in the basket but that's the first bag down got this big pack of the seabrook loaded get 22 bags in here 11 seaside salt and vinegar and 11 nacho cheese puff um i can't remember how much they were let's have a look so they were 3.49 for 22 packs i think that's pretty good um the so the uh flash all purpose was 2.99 which is brilliant that's a massive one uh the coat was four pounds um the Yorkshire tea were 159 even though it says on the box 175 they were down to 159 um i got the cat some felix doubly delicious countryside selection in jelly Just completely ran out of food um this was 469 a massive Fabric softener. This is the Lenore pink tulips and white jasmine. So it's, is it the same as that one? Yeah, it's the same as that. Recommended by Mrs. Hinch. How much is this? Oh, Three forty-nine was that? One point seven five. Yeah. Three forty-nine. This was. Let me have a smell of it. beautiful i normally like going for like the the lenore um i've got some of the a little bit left of the fairy outdoorable this is the um the concentrated ones that's what i like normally going for the b&m didn't have any they just had the big big ones so i got one of them last thing i got was this mega pack of the bold exotic bloom gel and it says brilliant stain removal even in a cold wash you get two of those in there um they were 8.99 which i think is brilliant because they're the 980 ml and you get two so i've got plenty of washing liquid so that came to 44.56 for all of them. Um, oh, actually, no, the crunchy nut wasn't um, 222 pounds. It was 225. The pepperamis were 225 as well. So they were a bit cheaper than I thought. So yeah, that's it. Um, I suppose it's quite a lot of money for 13 items, but they're all like big bulky items that are going to last me quite a bit so hopefully and i've got loads of washing to do so i'm going to put a wash on now and that is it just a nice and just a nice simple short haul from two shops so i'm going to go now put my wash on eat my sandwich and then i'll be making the dinner later i'm not making dinner now so i hope you've enjoyed this one if you have please give it a thumbs up please subscribe if you're not already and also hit that notification bell just to let you know every time i upload and i'll see you in the next